Um, I, uh, good morning, everybody. I suppose today we're going to start, inshallah, the new unit, which is unit two. It's about career and employment. I suppose the word career is familiar for you because it's connected to the job. But usually, if we are talking about a career, a career is something, um, let's say it is a job that you like it. In Arabic, we use mihnat haya, which means you depend on it and you feel that you are happy with that job. So this is my career, I'm happy about it. But a job is just a work that you work through it. It's good to know it. Employment, I suppose you know the word um, unemployment. Unemployment, yes, batala, somehow it is familiar with us, but let's be positive today and say uh, employment, okay? So those words are the title of the new unit and we're going to talk about um, engineering today, I suppose. We're going to talk a lot about engineering and um, somehow about that uh, career in your life because all of you are going to be engineers, inshallah, in the future. And this is going to be your career. So let's start. From the title, we have computerization. It is a very important word to know. So, we have the word computerization. Computerization, yeah. Um, now, I suppose everything is computerized. You know the word computer because you use computer. You don't use hasub, but you use computer a lot. But then everything is computerized. If you want to make a presentation, if you want to search for something, you use the computer. If you want to register, you go through your computer. So everything nowadays is computerized. The verb is computerize. Computer is the machine. Computerization, it is a noun. And also, we must know its role. So there is a big role for computer and computerization in our life. Let's start with the first question. It says, look at the photographs and discuss the questions in small groups. What differences do you observe between the two photographs? So let's have a look at the photographs and tell me what can you see in the two pictures or in the two photographs. And we have the word observe. Observe, it means you notice, you see something there. So what differences? And the word differences, you should know the word differences. So we have lots of differences and we have, mm, yani let's see what are the differences you can detect or observe in those two photographs. Okay, yeah, tala andkom, shufi ikhtilafat. The first picture, papers. Hi, the stand, stand. Yes. What you can see in the pictures? What are the differences? Um, I don't know. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, Dania, would you like to go there? Because you can discuss it. <coughs> so you discuss with Noor. Okay, let's hear from you. Okay, so what differences do you observe between the two photographs? Please, May. From the first photograph, it's an old way of dealing with job. It's hard to deal. But in the second, it's uh, um, computerization. It's easier to, to work with. Yeah. Yes, okay. What else? I suppose in the first picture, you have lots of papers in front of him, and as May said, it's hard to deal with all those files around you, all the papers, and it is somehow mass around him. But in the next picture, you can see two people from two different generations. An old man, maybe he's the father or the manager or whoever, and a lady, a young lady. She's working online or where she's um, um, working through her... Um, laptop it seems like that 
Nowadays, I suppose you don't need lots of papers in your specializations. You have AutoCAD, three-dimension uh, programs. You just uh, draw it through the computer with a printer. You print out, and that's it. If you want to change one of the measurements, you change it, and everything will change um, according to your uh, calculations. And you print it out. You don't have to repeat the whole process. صحيح <laughs> I suppose it's going to be like that. Then number two, it says, what the changes in the engineering profession? You know the word profession are represented in the two photographs. I suppose it's a good word to know. It's a career, job, profession, your profession, your job, what's your profession? So from professional uh, specialization, some people they call it specialization, yes? So it's a profession. It's good to keep it in mind. خلوها في بالكم. بقولنا listen to an interview with an experienced engineer and number the topics in the order you hear them. Then listen again and take notes of the key ideas for each topic. So let's open your dossiers on page, your books on page twenty-three. Yeah. We have a script on page twenty-three. Please. It is about unit five at the bottom of the page. You have here unit five. It's unit five, lesson one. Okay, can you see it? It's page twenty-three. Yes. So we have here an interviewer, and you must know interview, interviewer, interviewee. The person who answers the questions is an interviewee. It's good to know it. So, um, interviewer, uh, who's going to read different people? Muhammad, you're going to be the interviewer. I need Khaled, you're going to be the expert. Intal Khabir, hala ya Khaled, yalla. Let's see. You have worked as an engineer uh, and have uh, written about engin engineering for many years. Uh, what uh, trends do you see in engineering today and for the future? Yeah, the word <coughs> trends. Write and underl underline the word the trends. Yes. Um, yeah, could be attitudes, projects, uh, whatever you like to call it. Could be. Well, one area that has grown in importance. I like this concept, Yani, who have grown in importance. The impor uh, it becomes more important instead of saying it becomes more important. It's like <laughs> a child, a grown up. Yeah, a grown in importance. If you like to know it. <laughs> Yes. Is, is time study engineering. So this is the idea, time study engineering. Nowadays, I suppose um, there is a difference between the credit hours, uh, let's say 20 years back from now. How many credit hours? Uh, around 170. In the past, مثلاً, they have more ten credit hours more or other thing. يعني بمعنى, nowadays they try to give you the specific courses you need them in order to make the time less. Can we do some مرات ست سنين, مرات سبع سنين or whatever? Some uh, universities, if somebody fails in one course, they repeat the whole year. مثلاً بيد كل السنة مش الكورس. But this is important to notice it. يعني مهم. فإسة التايم ستادي nowadays become there is a difference in time study بالنسبة للإنجنيرينج. And also there is another thing now. When you study engineering, it's not isolated from the other fields. لنفترض if you want to make uh, what to build um, a house, you need a lawyer. Because he has to register the house at the court. You need, for example, um, what else? You need an, uh, um, a person who knows about the environment, environments, because you need to live in a healthy place, not near factories or something like that. <coughs> yeah, that's right. But the same one. Uh, yeah, somehow they are similar in, sir, let's say, they are not the same, but they are close to each other. Yeah, so the idea is that, in general, 
um, nowadays engineering is not isolated. It's not that you work with machines only. You have to interact with people. صار عنا التواصل مع الناس very important. مين عنا telecommunication أو communication. مين عنا اتصالات. مين yes. هلا لو يا نور الدين oh نور الدين نور الدين. Okay. If if it happens that for example you don't have people calling each other. شو استفدتوا؟ والله ولا شيء مضطرين للناس. So humans are uh, human beings. Sorry, are so important nowadays. Okay. فهذا الحكي اللي بده يحكي لنا ياه الاكسبرت. Please خالد. More and more people have come to realize that engineers need to work not just with yeah, machines شايفين. but also with people. إذا the time studying engineering كمان في إله علاقة with people and machines. Nowadays you have to work with people not only with machine. مش مهندس خلاص تحط له this machine and he works with the machine. No, that's not the idea. Not anymore. Yes, Muhammad. How do you mean? Well, for example, to find out how machines can uh, can be operated. Underline the word operated. <coughs> because as scientists, operation and operated, tashgil for you. But for, for example, medical uh, uh, fields, بيكون عمليات معمليات فمهم انتوا تكونوا عارفين انه اوبريتد يس موست ايثيكلي افيشنتلي افيشنتلي باي اوبريتر اوبريتر لازم تعرفوا كمان كلمه اوبريتر يا اللي هو على كمان عامل المقسم بنسميه ذا اوبريتر بيكوز هي نوز يعني اف يو كول ذا يونيفرسيتي اند يو تشوز فور اكزامبل But if you call the university and you don't know how to reach a certain person, there you're going to call the operator and tell him, we want Mr. or Dr. Kada, and he, yeah, she does the whole job. Please. You see if a small change in the position of the controls on a machine yeah. or even in the way the operator makes certain... Certain. Certain... Um, muscle movements. Muscle movements. Can have a big effect on speed, uh, efficiently, yeah. effic efficiency and production. Production. So a big effect on speed, سرعة, on efficiency, فعالية, and production. وبالإنتاج كمان حسب الأوبريتر إيش بيعمل ب يعني بيصير effect بيصير في تأثير or impact on those three aspects. Okay. I see. I see. It's good to use the word I see, like. Yeah, I understand you. It means I understand. Another related field that has developed over the last 20 years or so is human factors engineering. Yeah, I suppose the human factors. Now the word factor is familiar for you because there is um, a show on the on the on TV. Yeah, X factor. So factor criteria characteristic. So human factors. في عنا عوامل إنسانية بتلعب دور أكيد بالهندسة صار. With some people also call ergonomics. اللي هي ال environment يعني بيئة العمل يا the environment. Please. And what do human factors engineers do exactly? Yeah. They work to establish establish criteria. Establish, founded. Yeah, you assess founded. Criteria, standards. Ma'ayir, sahih. For the efficient, safe. Han naraf hadola for the efficient, for safe, lal aman, for a human-centered design. Hala tarafu fi bil haya approaches fi nahj muhtalif. Some, مثلاً, some lecturers they have student-centered approach. شو معنى student centered approach؟ مرتكز على الطالب بيكون يعني you should be active you do the whole job. Some lecturers they like the um, teacher centered approach. The lecturer is the center of the lecture مثلا. فهي مهمة الكلمة تعرفوا human centered بمعنى آخر يا نور it depends on the human. أوكي؟ okay? فمهم جدا الإنسان عندنا عامل فاكتور قوي أو كريتيريا مهمة if you are planning to do Anything with the engineering, if you want to make, uh, whether we are talking about structural, ولا mechatronics, ولا أي شغلة بالأخير العامل الرئيس هو الإنسان is very important.
human centered design of yeah. things that uh, of things like the large complex control panel that direct and monitor operation Point. in for example a, a nuclear, nuclear reactor التفاعل النووي صحيح so يعني because of humans they try to do all those um, uh, nuclear uh, nuclear uh, reactors um, away from مثلا uh, crowded areas they go in the middle of the ocean ولا in the middle of the desert أو كذا زي هيك yes what other changes you have you seen in your profession over recent years one interesting trend is the development of an interdisciplinary inter it means you have more than one discipline it means field for interdisciplinary يا متعدد التخصصات او متعدد المجالات متعدد التخصصات ايوه approach نهج محمد what do you mean by interdisciplinary interdisciplinary لما نقسمها بتصير سهله interdisciplinary the idea of a specialist specialist from various engineering various you should know the word various بمعنى different صحيح disciplinary Disciplines. Disciplines working together. Yeah, expert. Yes, but an interdisciplinary approach. Ah, Papa Khaled, yeah, Muhammad. Yeah. Can also include experts from legal. Hey, this is the idea. هلا صار في عندكم إشي اسمه interdisciplinary بمعنى أنا مش عشان مهندس بشتغلش إلا مع مهندسين. No, بطلت هيك المعادلة مختلفة. You must work with different categories and different levels and different. Let's say different specialists. يعني اللي نفترض إحنا العائد الاقتصادي, the commercial issues هدول الشغلات, the cost. مين بده يقدرها بالأخير شغل ال بدك accountant أيوة محاسب. مثلا شغلة زي ما قلنا in the court في المحكمة مين بده يتابع لك الموضوع lawyer. ف this is the idea. It is interdisciplinary. ما في حد بيشتغل صار هلا بأي any project you are talking about. يعني بغض النظر إيش المشروع اللي بنحكي عنه إحنا. You must have interdisciplinary. بتلاقيهم بتخصصات مختلفة. بيكون في مهندسين في مجال الاقتصاد في مجال السوشيال شغلات حتى اجتماعية. أنا بدي أعمل لنفترض مول في منطقة معينة. هل عائده مثلا اجتماعيا البيئة الموجود فيها الناس الموجودين رح يتفاعلوا مع المول or they don't like it في مادة الريميديال انجلش اللي هي الاستدراكي كان في عندهم one chapter or one unit about malls إذا الناس بحبوا يروحوا to the malls ولا ناس بحبوا قصة يروحوا على الجروسيريز البقالات الصغيرة مثلا كذا ف this is يعني social هذا شغل social في ناس بحبوا التجمعات الكبيرة في ناس they don't like to go to those huge supermarkets فبالتالي you need more than specialist in different uh, disciplinary in order اللي هي interdisciplinary in order to do your job perfectly okay آه عزيزي legal, social, behavioral and environmental no. fields as well إذا مهم عنا قصة legal تتعاملوا انتم كمهندسين مع الليجال اللي هو اللق... يعني شغل القانون also social شغلات اجتماعية behavioral بمعنى سلوكي ايوة because it's an adjective and also with environmental fields yeah أنا بدي أعمل I want uh, I suppose at Nablus they had this problem they have this great huge university uh, uh, school sorry and it is so close to a factory, aluminium factory. <coughs> so they couldn't open the school because it is, the environment is unhealthy for students. And great school and they're the environmental aspect. It's not easy to work by yourself. You must ask more than one person or from different fields in order to be successful as an engineer. Azizi. Ah, I think we will see this trend continue and grow in the future. Yeah. What trends have you seen regarding? Regarding, I like the word regarding, related to, um, regarding, related to. It's a nice word to use it when you are talking to each other. The engineering of professional itself. Profession itself. Well, yeah. one of the most important recent trends sure. in the engineering profession 
licensure licensure او لايسنس لايسنس تو لايسنس ماني انجينيرز ار بس لايسنس لايسنس باي ذا ستيت اعتقد انتوا هلا يعني اف يو وين يو فينيش ان شاء الله على خير اند جراديويتد يو ماست هاف ا لايسنس مزاوله مهنه يا رخصه مزاوله المهنه So you must have this license and you have it from uh, the engineering union So this is the idea and usually you have your uh, license from the state license. It's good to have it, I suppose, because you can work freely if you have a license. By the state, just as doctor, uh, doctors yeah. and lawyers. محميين عنا doctors كلهم لازم يكون في معهم license. The construction of public and com uh, commercial commercial structures. نتذكر شغلة ال commercial structures مثل المول وهالشغلات هاد commercial تجاري صح لا لا. Yeah needs approval. Needs approval, by approval خالد كلمة مهمة. Yeah agreement or to agree to approve بمعنى To agree by by a professionally uh, licensed licensed engineer. Yeah, إذا دائما even at the university حتى إحنا مش عم نبني مثلا عنا بالجامعة very new buildings <تصفيق> اللي هو خدوري for for the engineering faculty في هلا كلية الهندسة عم تنبنى when we built um, the library building كمان منطقة المكتبة صحيح. We asked for a licensed um, engineer to sign it. هلا ما بنقدر المهندسين اللي عندنا في الجامعه هم اللي عملوا التصميمات وكذا بس بنفس الوقت لازم يكون في مكتب هندسي مرخص. فيعني اه so they signed it from there and they took their share واكيد اخذوا حصتهم يعني بالعكس هذا الشيء لصالحكم يعني منيح تكون معكم لايسنس لانه على كل توقيع تاخذوا مبلغ ف this is good. Yes. Especially in, uh, in cases where public and worker safety is a consideration. مهمة أعتقد هاي الاصطلاح تكونوا أنتوا واعيين إله. Public and worker الناس العوام وأيضا العاملين safety. أمان العامل جدا مهم بشغلكم أنتوا ك engineers is a consideration. حلو هاي. يعني consideration يعني we say is a consideration. It is very important بمعنى آخر. Okay. So this is the Script. Let's go back to page eleven, uh, I suppose. And trends in engineering. So we have an interdisciplinary approach. We have human factors engineering or ergonomics. We have licensure, and we have time study engineering. So four points. Which one is the first? Which one we talked about it? Um, let's take two minutes. خدوكم دقيقتين. شوفوا مين حكينا عنه أول موضوع الثاني الثالث وتراي تو أنسر ذي ذيزي كويستشنز اللي وراهم وحاولوا لاقوا الأجوبة للسؤال سي يا
Okay, let's start. Uh, Anas, would you read me, please? Listen to an interview. Listen to an uh, interview with, uh, with an uh, experienced yeah, experience. engineer. Experienced, you must know the word experienced engineer, Bimana, like an expert engineer. So you have lots of experience. Sahih. So experienced, expert, the two words are somehow uh, similar. Yes, please, Anas, continue. And the number of the topics and the order you hear them. Then listen again and uh, take notes of the key idea for each topic. So if you want to order them, which one comes first? First, the uh, time study engineering. Yes, and uh, Kayed, number two? Human fa uh, factor engineering uh, or... Uh, ergonomics. Uh, yes, number three, Baha? And interdisciplinary <coughs> approach. And the last one, it's, I suppose, Mira. Uh, license. Yeah, license. So this is the idea. Okay, those are the words you must know. Try to keep attention to them. Those are important ones. Next, we have answered these questions about the interview. Number one, please, Dania, read the question. What is the difference between time study engineering and human factors? Minna lahat shagla, Dania. Now we are talking about differences. In unit one, we talked about advantages a lot. Keep that in mind. Yes. Uh, more and more people have come to realize that engineers need to work not just with machine, but also with people. That's right. Number two, what example? Hassan, please. What example does the engineer give mm -hmm. of an application of a human factors engineering? Yes. The example, a nuclear reactor. Yeah, about the nuclear. Number three, please, Mace. Three, what point does the engineer clarify uh, regarding, uh, regarding and under uh, disciplining uh, approach to engineering? Yeah, so the word clarify, which means clarify, means okay. illustrate, explain. explain, make it clear, clear, clarify, it is somehow close. And regarding, you should keep attention to the word regarding an interdisciplinary approach. This is Approach, H, H, approach, okay? Because some people, they pronounce it incorrectly. <coughs> Please, Mace. Vegan or social behavior and environmental. Yeah, we have lots of um, uh, specializations. Uh, we have, um, this is number three. Yeah, we have uh, experts from other disciplinary lines, the legal, social, behavioral, and environmental. environmental. That's right. Number four, please, May. What type of construction projects require approval by a professional? Do not talk to each other, Khaled. Listen to May, please. Listen. May, once yeah. again, yeah, May. Mara Tanya. What type of construction projects require approval by a professionally licensed engineer? Lahza. I'll let you talk. Maja, I'll let you talk. Silent, okay? خلص خليه ساعتين ضايلها نص ساعة approval نعيد يا مي نشوف كمان مرة do not talk أيوة عزيزتي أي سؤال أما ليش what type of construction project require approval by a professionally licensed license license engineer yeah public and worker safety is a consideration yeah and I suppose also the construction of public and commercial structure that's right the construction of uh, commercial structures and public structures that's right yes if we go to the next uh, exercise it says in pairs or small groups discuss changes and the trends that you have observed in your field of study or work I suppose any you should know <coughs> some of the words mm, we're not going to discuss it today with all the details um, let's keep it for the next time he got to have that kind of brainstorming about it we we have seen an increase in the use of so, uh, software keep the word software we have hardware and software software it means programming that's right zero and one and you make the programs through it and simulation is a good word to know it. So we have software simulation. Keep it in mind. Yes, 
So this is the idea. Keep them in mind, okay? Now we're going to watch a short um, YouTube video. It is about present perfect. اليوم يمكن ما بدناش نحكي كثير عن ال يعني انا مش رح احكي لكم عن الجرامر، خلينا نسمع شوي هي ايش بدها تحكي لنا نسترجع قصه البريزنت، الباست، الفيوتشر، اند اولسو ذا بريزنت بيرفكت، المحاضره القادمه بنحكي عنه اوسع وبنحل عليه امثله، بنعمل امثله اللي عندكم في الكتاب، بس توداي وير جاست جوينج تو ليسن تو ا فيديو جاست ا مينيت، اوكي، سو ليتس ستارت It's about present perfect versus present simple. It's like fighting vs versus. This yeah. is Mino, and I'm Berlin. And this is now the fourth video in our Learning the Tenses series. Yeah. As I've said before, if you haven't seen the previous videos, you may want to go and watch them first. In this fourth video, I'm going to explain the differences between the present perfect, I have done, and the past simple. Okay. I did. When you're ready, we'll get started. Okay, let's start. So we have present, right. present perfect. perfect, and past simple. And past let's simple. look at formulation first. You remember from the previous video that the present perfect is formulated with the verb have and the past participle of the main verb. I have played tennis. You have played tennis, he, she has played, we, you, and they have played. Now, let's look at past simple. Past simple, there are two types of verbs, regular verbs and irregular verbs. For regular verbs, you simply add ed to the end of the infinitive. For example, I played tennis. And it's the same form for all pronouns. I played, you played, he, she played, we, you, and they played. This is easy. Pause. For irregular verbs, you would have to go and learn the form from a list. You can go to our website, anglolink.com, where you will find a list of the most common irregular verbs, which you will have to memorize. That's all for formulation. Let's move on to usage. Yeah, the usage. I recap on the usage of present perfect, which we looked at in the previous video. Action that is complete at the time of speaking. Okay. Examples were, I've studied three sections until now. I've already done half of the exercises. He has driven 500 kilometers so far. So it's important to keep in mind that if the action is completed now, just now, while you are speaking, you use the perfect because it started from the point uh, going through the past till the, till the present time, until now. And there are some clues, Marat Bikun Fiendkom, which is great. If you have until now, all the words in black, in bold, sorry, they are clues. So if you have until now, it means you must use the perfect, present perfect. If you have already, you use the perfect and it is present perfect. And so far, you use the perfect, okay? Keep it in mind. Those are three words. You must remember them as a clues for you. Let's look at the past simple. Past simple. Past simple is similar to present perfect in that it also refers to a completed action in the past. Completed. But this time, there's a clear reference to the specific time of the action in the past. Let's look at the examples. First example, I've studied three sections until now. The action is complete, but we don't know when. <laughs> if we add the when element, if we specify the time in the past, the tense changes to past simple. Let's watch the change. I studied three sections last night. Let's look at the second example. I've already done half of the exercises. Mm -hmm. Let's add a specific time in the past. 
and the verb changes to I did half of the exercises before lunch. And our final example, he has driven 500 kilometers so far. Let's add the specific time in the past and watch the change from present perfect to past simple. He drove 500 kilometers yesterday. So, here you notice the difference. If you have a specific time <coughs> in the past, you use simple past. So, there are some clues like the word last, before, and yesterday. Those are three words, if they are used in sentences, it means it is specific, the time is specific, and it, is, uh, it happened in the past, so you use the simple past, okay? So this is the difference. Here, it is opened, and you finished now, just now, until now. But at that time, we, talking, we are talking about the last day, or uh, night, or whatever. So those clues, it's good to memorize them, last, before, and yesterday, okay? Usually, we have simple past with them. Let's look at the timelines for a better picture of the differences. Here's the present perfect that you saw in the previous video. Do you remember this line? Yeah, so it's a timeline and here's now. In action in the past. This is in the past. At some point. Completed. We don't know when or we don't care to mention when. The action is complete at the time of speaking. Now, if we mention that specific time in the past, if we fix our past time, we must change to past yeah. simple. Action completed at a specific time in the past. Here are there some no clues. Any connection yesterday, with now. Two weeks ago. For example, when? Yesterday. Two weeks ago. When I was ten. When, okay. Etc. Let's look at some common mistakes. Some common mistakes. Some the most common, common mistake is using the present perfect instead of the past simple. For example, saying something mm. like, We don't we have as, bought this car. As no. Arabs, we don't do that because already we don't have um, um, perfect in, in Arabic. So we don't use this. But um, it's vice versa for us. We use the simple past, uh, the past simple instead of the perfect. Because in Arabic we don't have perfect, so we don't use it a lot. Because we are mentioning a specific time in the past, which is ago. ago, we should use the past simple. We bought this car two months ago. Another example. I have slept well last night. Once again, last night refers to a specific time in the past. So, we need to use the past simple. Remember last. I slept well last night. Another example. She has met him when she was at college. Uh, sometime. Again, yes. when she was at college, refers to when. a specific period of time in the past. And therefore, we should use past simple. She met him when she was at college. When. Okay, remember when with simple. With the mistake can be made the other way around, huh? using the past simple where present perfect is required, for example. And this is what happens with Arabs in general. They uh, use the... Uh, past simple instead of the perfect because we don't have perfect in Arabic in our uh, um, grammar somehow so we commit some of those mistakes. I already called him. Mm -hmm. I, I already know. means sometime I've in the already. past until now. I've. It's yes. not specific. Mm. Therefore we should use the present perfect. I've. I have already called him. I must point out that I already called him is sometimes acceptable in American English. Let's look at two other examples. يعني في إشي اسمه صحيح وفي أصح. In um, in the spoken language every day, some people they say I already met or whatever. 
but if you are writing it, it is better to say, I have already, because we have already. The American people are easy with the grammar, so they accept it, but the British, they don't. Um, but I believe all your uh, curriculum was in, uh, were in English. كل منهجكم into English, British, not American. The past tense is used. Mm -hmm. Just it just came back. The word you just. You might hear this, especially in America. But really, <laughs> the correct tense is, she has just come back. Yes. Because just doesn't refer to a specific time in the past. It tells us that the action is complete, not a long time ago. And let's look at our last example. Prices went up this month. This month is not a reference in the past. The month continues. It's a present time. It means until now, in this month. Yeah, so this we month. Should use the present Who, this perfect. command, this, Prices it means perfect. This month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I that's all for this video. Um, I, I hope think you've enjoyed it. watching it. Inshallah, it's cool. As you know, into command. You can add I suppose this is for the lecture, and now the we're going to do the exercises to review this point. Okay, so um, I suppose um, today we're going to listen to one of the presentation, Hassan. Uh, I suppose today we're going to listen to one of your colleagues. His name is uh, Hassan, and Hassan. Muslah is going to talk about power plugs. It is somehow new topic for me because I don't know much about the power plugs. So I like it <laughs> from the beginning, from the title. And um, Hassan is going to um, talk about it in some details. If you have some questions, jot them down at the end of the presentation. We're going to have some comments. And if you like to ask any question, you are welcome. OK, please, Hassan, the plate is yours. Salam alaikum. May peace be upon you. Yes, peace be upon my you. My fellow nice. students, my teacher, it's mm -hmm. a great pleasure to be standing in front of you today. I have the honor to address the future generation. Mm. Let me first, before anything, thank Ms. Nadi Hamad for her great efforts, which obviously helped us to innovate, improve, develop our English language skills, listening or um, pronunciation. Thanks, Ms. We no, appreciate you're it. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, I'm going, inshallah, to talking about electrical engineering, specialization of most university students in Palestine Technical University. Electrical engineering, please, miss. Okay. Espe expectations, aims about the first, about electrical engineering, two sources of electricity, how we can generate electricity, third, applications of electricity, and the last advice from heart to heart. Okay. Electrical engineering is a field of engineering that generally deals with the study and application of electricity, electronics and electromagnetism. This field just became an identifiable occupation in the later half of the 19th century after commercialization of the electronic telegraph. The telephone and the electric power distribution and use. Electrical engineering has now subdivided into a wide range of subfield, including electronics, digital computers, power engineering, yeah. telecommunications, control system, and microelectronics. So electrical engineering work in a very wide range of industries, and the skills required are likewise variable. Yeah. I hope that. Inshallah. No, it is. <laughs> Two, electricity sources. How we can generate electricity. Mm -hmm. The first, steam power plants, which use steam turbines, like in this picture. Yeah, the steam. Yes. Hydro power plants, which use a hydro turbines, as you show. C, wind turbines and solar direct photovoltaic. Yeah, the solar system is so important nowadays. Yes. The last source, science fiction. Yeah. <laughs> which is collecting a lightning energy. Mm -hmm. Actually, I myself always 
think how to collect this huge energy. Yeah, this there is, is a study says that if we collect a lightning power, a lightning power, it will be able to enlighten New York City for a month. Wow. I know. This is great. Too much yeah. energy there. Yes. Mm. I know that we haven't a potentials enough to collect this enormous energy, but at least we have to try. Yeah. Yeah. It's important to try that. Application of electricity. Electric appliance like refrigerator, lamps, heater, washing machine, to transportation like train, plane, cars, streets, yeah. and factories. <coughs> yes. Uh -uh. Just, yes. The question here what will we do without electrical engineering? The answer mm. is behind me. Okay, Please. let's see. Miserable life. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can't live without electricity. So our life is so polluted. Yes. All in all, we can find the strength in what we have. So stand and keep fighting and don't give up for your fears. It yes. is the route for self-destruction leading to tragic fail and cul-de-sac. It's for sure a route to avoid. Best yes. wishes for us. Well, thank you. You are welcome. Awesome. Very nice. I like it. Okay. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Goodbye.